landscape painter, painting both on location and in the, in the studio. Uh, today I'm going to be painting the still life. There are so many approaches to this time-honored subject, so I hope you'll join me as I show you the way I see it. So whether you're working in oil or acrylic, I, I'm working in flash paint today, uh, make sure your palette is a nice balance of warm and cool tones. Um, I also have some burnt sienna and yellow ochre. And I, I think I'm magenta there. I keep my flash paints in an ice cube tray to keep them fresh. And there's my grayscale. Um, I'm also choosing to work in a square format, which feels more contemporary for my design of the still life. Here, here's that still life. It's fairly straightforward, but I'm working with the notion that um, I'll be designing this with sh the basic shapes in mind, square, circle, triangle. And now I've um, sketched out my drawing very simply with a light color. I'm keeping it very, very simple. I'm not getting caught up in any details here. I'm also keeping in mind not only this group of shapes that are grayed out here, overlapping shapes, but also the background, everything surrounding my still life subject. This too is a shape and I've designed it on paper. So you want to strive towards getting your values down correctly when you start uh, painting your still life. And uh, this is why I put a little, my little grayscale map <laughs> from lights to darks. Um, and what I'm going to do is start working with my dark tones first and build towards the light. And you can almost assign these values to different objects in your uh, still life. I'm beginning to work out my uh, placing my darkest tones first and um, which are probably uh, the shadow of the clock and maybe the dot of that sunflower those are the pretty much your black that would be the black um, but um, building up towards the light and I this is on fast mode right now but I am roughing this out or I am placing my tones down fairly quickly so as I, I work out my tones, I want to point out that I'm working in flash paint, which is a vinyl paint. It, uh, it's, a, it's got a nice consistency to it. Um, I'm working it out with water. Uh, it dries with the same color and tone that I place it, unlike acrylic, which usually dries darker. Here I am working out the background, all the negative space to my still life, which I tend to like, I put a lot of focus on the background. The background, I like to give a lot of gesture. I like to work out my warms and cools that way through shadow. And um, whatever inspires me with my still life. And then uh, finally, I like to um, add my own marks and or my own mark making, uh, trying to figure out what parts of my still life I want to accentuate. So painting from observation, such as a still life, is a wonderful challenge to the eye. And knowing a few observational techniques will make the process so much easier so you can develop a bold, expressive style to your painting. If you want to see more instructional videos, subscribe to my channel then hit the notification icon. Thank you.